New developments tonight. OSHA is now investigating after a bridge which was being dismantled collapsed, killing a worker and seriously injuring two others. That bridge is alongside I-20 just east of Conyers. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on what happened last night and what happens next. This was a bridge that was built during the Great Depression and it carried a lot of east-west traffic between Conyers and Covington before and after I-20 was built adjacent to it a half century ago. It had just closed down Monday to traffic to begin a replacement project for an 84-year-old bridge uh, that had kind of seen some, some better days. Investigators say three construction workers and three pieces of equipment were on the bridge. They had begun to use concrete saws and other equipment to clear away the first portion of the bridge built over the Yellow River in 1937. And they were just getting started doing some sawing on the deck to remove parts of the deck um, to begin the rebuild process. A 70-foot portion of the bridge fell 50 feet into the river. Authorities say 33-year-old DeMario Battle of Atlanta died, possibly struck by a cutting saw, according to an incident report. Two others were hospitalized. At midday, the construction site was shut down while an inspector from OSHA was on site. OSHA does workplace safety inspections. GDOT says bridge replacements like this are usually safe. But these were fairly routine um, activities when it comes to busting up. When we talk about demo, we start building the bridge from the ground up. The construction project to replace the bridge is expected to stay shut down until after the conclusion of the on-site inspection by OSHA.